when you come to the breath, there has to be the desire to stay with the breath. This is one of the bases of power, the bases of success in the practice. Sometimes we hear that desire is a bad thing, but the Buddha didn't say that all desire was bad, just the kinds of craving that lead to suffering. But there's the desire to do something skillful and to improve your skills, to abandon unskillful things. Those desires are good. So you want to foster those, because without those, the meditation just doesn't get off the ground. Because it's based on the desire that you can actually maintain your persistence, otherwise things get really dry. But the power of desire on its own is not enough. There has to be a sense of that you're actually gaining something from the practice. This is why the effort has to be right effort. It's not just that you throw a lot of strength into it and hope that the simple doing of it is going to make things clear or settle things down, that you can kind of push your way into nirvana. You have to use right effort, which means having a sense of just right. That involves another one of the bases of power, which is being intent on what you're doing, paying very careful attention to it, and at the same time the fourth base of power, which is using your powers of analysis, figure out what's working, what's not working, and then making changes as you need. All of these qualities have to work together for the mind to settle down and get a real sense of well-being here in the present moment, and the clarity you need in order to see things clearly. So there's such a thing as success and failure at the meditation, and it's based on these bases of power, desire, persistence, intent, and using your powers of analysis. These are the things that make all the difference in the practice. So if you see that something is missing in your practice, ask yourself, what is it? Use your powers of analysis to reflect back on whether your desire is too weak or your persistence is not right, or you're not paying full attention to what you're doing, you're not really intent, giving it your whole attention. Or maybe you're asking the wrong questions. These are the things to look at to gauge in your own practice so that it actually does start making progress. We're not just here watching things coming and going. There are certain things we want to make come and other ones we want to make go, and others we want to prevent from coming, and still others we want to prevent from going. That's, as the Buddha said, it's one of the duties of mindfulness is to keep all that in mind. So when you realize there's something you can do with the practice, and you already are doing something with the practice, but you can learn to reflect on it and do it more skillfully, that's what makes all the difference.